Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my backyard. Today is February 11th and it's my weekly shop update. So I know it's been a few weeks since I've done a shop update and I want to take a little bit here in the beginning to tell you a little bit about why I uh, kind of took a step back from it for a bit and some of the changes for the shop update and I guess the channel kind of going forward. But as I'm telling you about that, I do have a bit of cleanup work to do from our last snowfall out back here. So you can uh, watch me working out here, moving stuff around and cleaning up while I'm telling you a bit about what's been going on. So for the past three weeks, I've really just been focusing on shooting the videos for the garden bench class. For the first two projects that I did in the guild, the sofa table and the farmhouse table, I kind of just focused on those alone and didn't really worry about doing anything else. Um, more unitasking. After that, for the high boy, the waterfall tables, the sideboard, the tool cabinet, and the spice boxes, I took a more, I guess, multitasking approach to it. I would try to produce the guild video as well as do videos here for the YouTube channel. And uh, that worked out all right. It was always uh, a lot more stress than I really wanted to have in my life, trying to get all those things done every week and honestly the multitasking aspect of it made things uh, probably significantly less efficient because my mind wasn't just focused on one task it was focused on too many things uh, every week so for this project for the garden bench i decided to go back to the old way of just focusing on one thing and powering through it so i was able to shoot most of the entire garden bench series in those three weeks i got through all of the more complicated videos to shoot those are all the joiner videos We'll take a look at the garden bench in a bit here when we go inside. But that project is almost done. And what I did in those three weeks is what I would normally do in probably two months or three months had I been trying to multitask. So I think going forward as I'm shooting my classes, I will uh, probably do this style again of just taking the time aside from everything else, shoot the entire class, and then return to shooting content for the YouTube channel. So what you'll see during the times I'm shooting those projects now is I probably won't be doing a shop update during the build and I won't be shooting any new content for the channel. Because of the way things lag behind, you'll continue to see videos being released during the time I'm taking time to shoot the classes, but then there'll be a little bit of a lull after I finish up the class. So a little bit of a switch up, I guess. And the other thing I'm considering doing with the shop updates is going from a weekly format to maybe a more sporadic format where it's not necessarily weekly unless I have enough stuff going on that week. What ended up happening during the fall was I kind of ended up on a bi-weekly schedule as I was building the trailer I tried to stay focused on just getting that thing knocked out and that worked out pretty well so I may continue to experiment with that just going from more of a for sure every week to just when I have enough to actually give you guys a decent update on. So that is that. So let me show you a little bit about what's been going on. So as you've probably already noticed, I did get out here and get the fenders complete and attached to the trailer. So that was, uh, that was nice. We had some, let's say, nicer weather for Minnesota. <laughs> Not necessarily warm, but nicer. So I was uh, kind of tired of sitting in the office, sitting in the, in the shop. So when I get outside for a bit. So I got the fenders all done. They're all welded out of uh, plates and they're reinforced a little bit. And I ground them to clean them up and got them mounted onto the frame. These are bolt-on fenders. So if I ever need to, for whatever reason, to remove them, if I somehow damage them, it might be easier to take them off to fix them or reinforce them or whatever. It just gives me a little more flexibility than having welded on fenders. So the last little bit of, I guess, components that really tie into the fenders are going to be the light tubes or light whatever. So I'll have one over here that comes off the side of the frame for the marker light on the side, and there'll be another one in the back, kind of the same thing. And that's also going to support the fender, so I'll have a tie-in point out here to keep them from kind of tipping over. I do have one brace in here, and these things are <laughs> pretty good, but uh, I figure one more thing out here to help support them and keep them from sagging over will be somewhat helpful. And then over here on the old trailer, I have uh, a log for the sawmill. So my buddy Eric has a few of these larger logs that we're going to use for some experimental wood products. So this is going to become something that I'm not quite ready to say what it's going to be yet, other than some of it will be turned into some more slab skins. 
and I did go down and check out the conference table that was put together from the skins that I slabbed in, ooh, I think that was September or August or something. The conference table that Eric put together from those ones came out really, really amazingly nice. And uh, I was down there yesterday. I shot the ending of that Samo video. So that will be coming out shortly as I get through finishing up that guy. But this is a uh, big silver maple log. It's probably, I think it's about 36 inches in diameter and maybe close to nine feet long. So a pretty decent sized log. It's going to work out really nicely for what I have in mind. If you have any guesses, feel free to guess. <laughs> I have a little edited sequence of the pickup that we can check out. In the beginning, you can see the other logs that are there waiting to be picked up. I will go grab those at some point and we'll be sawing them into some fun stuff. But I'll let this pickup play through and then I will see you in the shop. And here is where the garden bench is at. Uh, the joinery, just about done. I have one more piece of, uh, well, I guess more part that's gonna have some joinery on it. This guy gets tenoned into uh, this area in here and further supports the seat slats that are gonna run across there. So this thing uh, came together really nicely. I'm happy with the design and how everything turned out. The armrests have a nice curve on the top and the bottom. We've got a nice angled tenon here in the back and just feel really nice in the hand. Uh, the backrest, I think, uh, worked out really nicely. I like the, the gradual curve there on the top, and there are uh, a lot of more and tenon joints in this project. So I have just four more videos to shoot on this thing. That's gonna be the video for this guy with the uh, seat slats. Then we'll get into the uh, finishing and assembly type stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I think it's gonna feel really nice sitting in it and hanging out in the backyard somewhere. I don't know where this is going yet. So that is what I have been up to uh, the last few weeks. Let's take a look at some viewer projects. First this week is a liquor cabinet by John. John made this decorative wall hanging liquor cabinet for his wife and she hung it in their newly remodeled sun porch. It's made with purple heart and walnut and some of the walnut came from a tree harvested on his property. Next is a sofa table by Kevin. It has a bird's eye maple base with a turned pedestal and a black walnut top with a maple inlay. And last this week is a hardwood three-tiered plant stand by Andrew. It's made from some discarded wood from a bed frame, a different kind of urban logging. <laughs> Andrew has a video about this project over on his YouTube channel, and I will leave you a link so you can check that out. So lastly, there's a few little announcement type of things. First off, something I'm really excited about is uh, Wood Talk is back. Well, I mean, kind of, it's kind of back. <laughs> So if you don't already know, I do a podcast with uh, Mark Spagnuolo and Shannon Rogers. We talk about woodworking related things uh, on this podcast. And about a year ago, we said that we were done. And then we decided that we couldn't just be done. So we started doing a quarterly show. And now we're back, but we're not back to doing a weekly show. We're doing three shows a month. So, eh, you know, pretty close to a weekly show. So if you want to check that out, you can subscribe to Wood Talk and your favorite podcast app or woodtalkshow.com and whatnot. <laughs> Other thing is I got a little travel coming up. This week I'm actually heading out to San Francisco with Lindsay. We're gonna take a little vacation, kind of a long weekend type of thing. I'm gonna see me some big trees and uh, drink some wine, which I'm looking forward to. And I'm back for one day next week and I'll be heading to Atlanta. I will be at uh, Workbench Con. So if you're going to that show, I will see you there. It's, uh, it was fun last year, so looking forward to doing it again. So, yeah, that's what uh, is going on this week, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy working.